Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video we're going to take a look at how to create your own private cloud similar to that of Google Drive using your Synology NAS. All right guys, so if you like the ease of use, accessibility and convenience of Google Drive, but would prefer to keep your documents a little bit more secure, let's say in your own private cloud, Synology makes this possible with their office utility. Let's take a closer look. And you can see here with Synology's office, you can create documents, spreadsheets and slides that have the look and feel of that of Google Drive. You have easy collaboration with real-time syncing and immediate communication. The documents are compatible with Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, just like in Google Drive. And you have data privacy and security, so your documents are stored in your own private cloud, but yet you can access them from anywhere. The files are encrypted, and you do get document history and revision. So next, we're going to take a look at how to get this installed on your Synology Drive. Let's get started with the process. So I'm signed into my Synology NAS and the first thing we have to do is come over and click on the package center. With all packages selected, let's click up in the search bar and type office and then hit enter or return if you're on a Mac. Here you can see the office utility. Let's click on the install button. This is when Office is installing, the Package Center will automatically perform the following operations. So it's go, going to install some supporting items, so we're going to say yes. And now it's downloading and installing. All right, guys, so that process of installing all the supporting items took about three minutes. Now, the next screen here says that Drive is going to replace CloudStation Server, which I have installed on my computer already. Now, if you don't have CloudStation Server installed, that's fine, but in the case where I do, it says it's going to be replaced by Drive. And it says here, after installing Drive, the sync settings and history versions of CloudStation Server will be safely migrated to Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and say Next. And then we're getting to our final screen here just to confirm our settings. And I'm going to leave where it says Run after installation. I'm going to leave that check and click Apply. All right, guys, so I did tell it to run after installation. The installation did finish. It took about five to seven minutes for the whole process to get completely installed. Now, as you can see, it did not launch automatically after installation. So I'm going to go ahead and click the open button here for Office. And we'll just take a quick look and see what we have. So again, it has a very much a similar feel to that of uh, Google Drive. We have our Drive, our Shared With Me folder, Shared With Others, Recent, Recycle Bin, and etc. So there you go, guys. That about wraps it up for the install and setup of Synology's Office. Maybe in the, we'll do another video and just navigate around and try creating a couple of documents and see if it works uh, similar to that of Google Drive. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. 
as always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.